What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today we're walking around a 1957 Bel Air. This one's got a 350 under the hood. Aluminum radiator. A few upgrades on the motor. You can see this one does not have power steering on it. Electric fans. What we're gonna do is take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. This one does have disc brakes. In the front, rear is drum, dual exhaust in the back. And I'm gonna take you down the road. We're gonna see how she runs and drives. When we get back, we'll look for chips, scratches, flaws on the body, interior, and of course under the hood and the trunk. So be sure to hit subscribe, share this video, hit like. There we go, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Getting ready to take off here, and uh, I'm gonna look around the interior first. Check some stuff out. Place your bets. You think the horn works? A little game we play. Got some uh, jigs, aftermarket gauges, water, oil, and battery. I kinda like the console. It actually looks pretty good. Back seat. Looked around the package tray. You can see the package tray is kind of faded on this one. The sun's got to that. Hey, we also got these new in. I've been using it every day. Check it out. We're selling them here on the uh, YouTube store along with shirts and stuff. Headliner's a bit faded. It looks kind of dirty. But tell you what, it's not all ripped up. And the light still works. Let's go ahead and start her. Give her a little gas. Engine temperature on this one. Uh, looks like it's at 150. The oil pressure is at 50. And the bolt gauge is working on this one. Yeah, you could go right in that door there to the right no problem we'll try the wipers out uh, go around the side the big doors open uh, let's see it feels like the switch is messed up oh yeah it is there it goes wipers do work just a faulty switch there looking across the dash it's showing 52,000 miles I do not believe this is the original motor or not we're not standing behind the mileage. Gas tank is on quarter. And I'll be watching it. Radio did make a clicking noise. Let's see if it works. Give me some. Give me some tunes. Turn it all the way up and get surprised. Paperwork. Oh yeah. Over 10 grand worth of paperwork and uh, a list of everything that was done on the car. Uh, pretty sure that is on our detailed pictures so you can look at that. Ashtray. Radio's not gonna work. Oh, 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 oh. Man, just fuzz. Blower motor is working, and that's some heat coming out of there. Horn, you ready? It does work. That's what I'm talking about. And it's sensitive. Some of y'all are sensitive out there, aren't you? <laughs> Let's hit the road, see how it runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off down the road here. Um, anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. Motor sounds pretty hot. Let's check her out. No seat belts in this one. Well, actually, the passenger seat has them, but the driver's seat doesn't. Maybe he had something against seat belts. I don't know. Maybe she did. <laughs> All right. Get our mirror adjusted. Yeah. Check our brakes before we leave. We want to stop, right? Let's roll out. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. Steering's got a little bit of play in, as you can tell. It's turning there. It's turning there. Speedometer 
seems pretty correct. It'd help if I'd have took off in third or drive. We was in second gear. Cut the ship once. Motor does have some pep to it. Moving this big old car down the road, that's for sure. Let's hop on over. Third signals are popping up on the dash right here. On both sides. It's going really straight. I mean, I'm not having any issues with it pulling to the left or right. The brakes, checking out good. stomped it and had a little pop from the carburetor I don't think the kick down is hooked up on this one we're gonna pull in this parking lot here get some outside shots and I'm gonna drive over the camera light up the undercarriage suspensions nice we went over a big dip there okay let's do this So I noticed the electric fan wasn't kicking on and what made me notice that was the temp gauge started getting up there a little bit. Well, dummy me, there's a switch right there. I hit it, cut it on, started working. It's already came down a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead, hit the road. And I mean, a good thing is we've been messing around in this parking lot for probably, let's say, oh, almost 30 minutes now. Haven't shut her off. Getting the outside footage, getting the undercarriage shots. And that was what happened without the electric fan. So now the electric fan's on. I'm not worried about it. This motor is good to go. Look how big it is, too. It has two fans, so it'll be fine. It never actually overheated. I just seen it coming up, and uh, I didn't want you to know that there is a switch. So when you get this car, make sure you turn your switch on. I was waiting for it to cut on by itself. Of course, you can always put it on a relay. All right, let's hit the road, finish this test drive. Got y'all set up. Got her in drive here. Let's take off. That one needs to be tightened up.
course the engine temperature is already going below 200 now it's come way down pretty quick as soon as we hit the road put her in one here give her a little gas Woo. she feels tight oh a little tire rub from the front left corner there oversized tires Down on the brakes again, they feel good. And we made it back to the lot. We're gonna pull in this parking lot right here. Go ahead and get these outside videos. I'm looking for chips, scratches, flaws, rust, anything I can find. And then we'll also look over the interior, pop the hood, pop the trunk. Let's do this, guys. Back at the lot, getting ready to walk around this car. Pulling out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I see. And we'll get started here in just a moment. Check out maplemotors.com. Look at the detailed pictures. Go there for financing, shipping, and all of our inventory. We got the trunk open. Let's start here. Looks like the seal is a bit old in the trunk. It needs to be replaced. And it's pretty clean under the lid. Spare tire, nice clean trunk. Go ahead and lift the mat. Show you up under there. It's solid. Looks like somebody's uh, cut that out at one point. Let's throw her all back. Golly, I make some messes, don't I? got to push all this down in here it wasn't pushed down in there when I opened the trunk I noticed that old detail guy here we go you got some chips around your jam there coming down with the lid here springs pretty good the paint job is not the best. It does have a couple of little bubbles. It's like little chemical peel bubbles. It's where when it was painted, there may be on something in the air or the prep. Coming on down. Does not look bad. Light scratch on the trunk lid there. Gas cap. Let's go down the side here. We hit the lower portions first. So the bumper back here has got some chrome coming off. Russ trying to pop through on it. Down on the back, same thing. Some bubbles in the bumper. Nice little crack in the chrome there. Coming down the lower portion, up and over the fender and back down. Right in this area, it's got a lot of little, like, under the paint bubbles. They're kind of scattered all over. You got some chips in the paint in the door there. Coming down the bottom portion. There's a little bubble right there. I think that's going to be a little bit of rust. Same with this right here. Hopping over the fender. Chip here. Decent chrome. Back to midsection. Blemish in the paint. No blemish there. You got some haziness on top of the fender. You also got a chip right here. Lots of little chips and stuff on this car, so. 
it'd be nice to put a nice paint job on this one fix all this little stuff there's some right there a bunch of these little bumps like acne coming down the side get you a good angle so you can see it pretty much all the way around the car so a lot of times that'll happen through chemical peel or prep and paint so the chrome on this one's not terrible it does have some blemishes these pop up check it out they still work mirrors look good front windshield it's got the old style glass if you look on the edge you can see like the little lines in the glass it even has it on the vent windows so they haven't replaced any of that chips 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 coming around the front end front bumper's not in perfect shape there's some pitting popping up here and there there's some rust right there down on the front coming down this side you got a lot of chips coming down your fender right here you've also got a lot of blemishes there on the bottom of the door there's some rust down in the corner also down here you've got some chips in the paint there and some haziness here really the car deserves a new paint job chips there chips in the chrome back the midsection you know a lot of this trim is in pretty good shape it looks good so got a chip here and there lost some shine on those pieces there you got some chips up here on top light scratches here and there front windshield's in good shape a lot of the trim looks good let's check see if that little piece works there Ooh. oh there we go the button was stiff it's all good now Coming over the back glass, up over the roof. All right, we made it around this car. Let's check the interior out, get her started up, and we'll conclude this video. As you get in the car, you can see the back. The package tray has got some sun damage in it. The back seat that is grandma's couch all the way <laughs> so old school look at that you got the little buttons i like it checking the jam weather stripping this just it's weak it needs to come off it needs to be replaced bottom of the door you jam here kick panels Custom console. <clears throat> Dash is in pretty good shape. Headliner. A little weak, but it's not ripped up. You almost re it and just be done with it. Turn the key. Give her a little gas. Anymore. Coming up 
Jeff's checking the motor out. Got a holly under there. Everything's nice and clean. Quiet. Upgraded brakes. That's why we're stopping so good. It's like your heater hoses are new. Headers. And they got a wrap. Uh, upgraded water pump, pulleys. All right. Electric fan is on a switch. I would switch it over to a relay on a temperature uh, gauge. That way it cuts on whenever it hits, what, 180. It keeps her cool, it keeps her under 200. Right now, you just gotta manually cut it on to keep the car cool. But it did take a long time for it to actually get hot because uh, I was circling around that parking lot a long time. This hood here has got cracks all in it. You can see the chips. And you'll see that in the detailed pictures as well. If you look on top here, you've got some cracks, pitting on your chrome. A little bubble in the paint job there. That's getting ready to come off. Chip there, chip here. Scratch, 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 scratch. Deserves a paint job. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Also, share and hit like. Get this video out there for me. I'll keep these videos coming your way. Also, check out the uh, gear we got on the YouTube store. I appreciate you watching. I want to thank you, and I'll see you later. Have a good one, guys.